Today, Linfield wouldn't have it any other way. Richie Johnson and his fellow Blue Men will never forget the trip, but now it's the defence of the Ulster Cup and not Georgia on their minds. Oh, they could be in here, and they are. 50 seconds gone in this second half, and what a shock for Linfield. The long ball cut them out, and that's Arbaladze. Gorman. Linfield trying to get forward. Johnston, plenty of white shirts to the right hand side. Doherty finds Dornan. They're queuing up in the middle. Oh, tremendous goal from Haylock. Just what the game needed. And Haylock delivered. Here's the hard working Arvalazzi brother. Running into another hard worker tonight. Lee Doherty. Gorman, Johnston, oh, it almost crept in, right at the death, Richie Johnson, almost pulled a goal out from infield, dangerous cross from Gorman, at the back post, Johnston, and the keeper, oh, not too sure. Absolutely tremendous performance, um, everybody at the club is delighted, I'm sure the supporters went home. A bit disappointed, but they saw the Lions give everything to need. I think that's our best form so far this season, um, and I think we can improve on that as well. So, if we can get better and better, then who knows what we can achieve. Loss of Dinamo Tbilisi in the preliminary rounds. The Georgian side were thrown out of the competition following allegations that match officials had been bribed. But nevertheless, one would agree that Lynn Peel's performances in those preliminary round games would indicate that they justifiably take their place in the first round. So with a look at the teams, Linfield and FC Copenhagen, here's match commentator Jackie Fullerton. Thank you, Jim. And there's good news for Linfield fans. Midfielder Lee Doherty passed a fitness test on his bruised thigh. And he slots into this side, which is unchanged from Saturday when they lost 1-0 to Cliftonville in a Gold Cup game. So no panic measures from manager Trevor Anderson. And he feels these players in a 4-4-2 lineup can get him the right result this evening. The top goal scorer, Gary Haylock and Richie Johnson, will be the two men up front. And it's all a bit scrappy. Here's Easton. Oh, that's a good run from Haylock. Can he get the better of Luca? He can. Haylock! Oh, yes! 38 minutes. And Haylock. He got a tremendous goal here against Tbilisi. And that one, well, it will certainly do. There's the challenge from Luca. Held him off. And he buried it. No chance. His fifth goal of the season. He's the top marksman. And what a time to get a goal. Still going. The challenge of the other skipper, Ulbier. This is for you. But people play on. Peebles. Clever ball player. Oh, he's brought down surely by Ulbier. Free kick given. An experienced campaigner, Peebles, 27 year olds. And this is a very good spell for Linfield. So Beatty is there with the left foot. Lee Doherty is there with the right foot. As Haylock and company await in the middle. Beatty to curl it in, left footed, I think so. From the back post, it's 2 0. It's John McConnell. And what a sensational couple of minutes for Linfield. Good finish from the big defender. His second goal of the season. And that makes up for the own goal in Tbilisi a few weeks ago. Customer for a 22-year-old. Off the head of Beatty. Oh, the mistake here. Johnson could be in. Still going. Oh, yes, 3-0. And just a minute ago, I was saying... 
He was showing good form for Linfield and he's delivered in the best possible way inside the defender and the keeper. Oh, well beaten. With your European experience, what will be the advice before they take the field? Kick them. <laughs> yes, hello and welcome to a packed programme this evening. Later on we'll have the action from Arsenal and Aston Villa along with another look at Manchester United against Honvéd. But first we concentrate on Linfield as they attempt to make the second round of the European Cup for the first time in almost a decade. And with us to enjoy our European soccer night, a man who's been making the headlines himself, former Derry City manager Roy Coyle. Roy, of course, we'll chat about that later on, but let's concentrate on Linfield. 3 0 up, they must be confident. Yeah, there's no question about that, Adrian. Uh, the confidence of the team is sky high, even reading, reading in the press and listening to Trevor Anderson and Lindsay McKeown. The preparation seems to be first class. I think the biggest problem they're going to have uh, is the mental toughness. Uh, going away from home 3 0 up is uh, it's an unusual situation in Europe for Linfield. And certainly the Danes will be trying to get an early goal to upset them, but um, no, I don't think they can prepare any better than they have done for this. This is Nielsen who missed the first match, and that's an excellent.